Those in support of the city's paid sick leave ordinance and those who want to do away with it will be in court this Wednesday. A hearing over the issue was postponed today after the judge said the city and the group opposing it did not give Texas Civil Rights Project three days notice about its plans to delay the ordinance. Stephanie Cerna with reaction from the mayor and advocates for paid sick leave. Earlier today, dozens of advocates for the city's paid sick leave ordinance rallied in front of the Bear County Courthouse, not happy about the delayed implementation. The ordinance was initially set to take effect on August 1st, but the city's attorney's office and attorneys for a group of businesses agreed to have it pushed back until December 1st. We reached out to the mayor today who released a statement that says in part, over the weekend I made clear my desire to move forward with the August 1st implementation of the earned paid sick leave ordinance as written and enacted. It would be best to address concerns through the paid sick leave commission after implementation. City attorney's staff acted in the manner they thought would best defend the ordinance. We share the same goal, but not the same strategy. Back on July 15th, a group of corporate interests filed a lawsuit seeking to stop the city of San Antonio's paid sick time ordinance from going into effect on August 1st. It's important for people who have to go to work sick uh, to not have to go to work sick. They have to choose between paying their bills or taking care of their body. We think that that's an immoral choice. The policy initially adopted by a majority of the city council would have extended paid sick time to over 350,000 workers in the Alamo City. Texas Attorney General Kim Paxton says the city cannot legally enforce the ordinance. Stephanie Serna, KSAT 12 News.